Hey, is it possible medical scientists created this two-headed snake at a research facility? Or is this the work of some big fat faker hoping to trick us? I've got the answer to that two-headed mystery, plus answers on some very curious items that you guys have been asking me about. Like this video that claims to show a comet or meteor flying over the skies of Los Angeles. This photo that wants us to believe this giant bike is the real deal. And this video that claims to show you can pop popcorn with the radiation from your cell phone. I've got all that plus some new fan art and my favorite fake of the week. So sit back, grab a snack, and get ready, Jack or Jill, because your brains are about to be tested. <laughs> Hey guys, Bill here. You know, out of the 110,000 submissions we've received so far on this show, a lot of them actually have to do with two-headed snakes. Now, one of the most recent ones is this one. The photo was sent in by Bossman747, who asked, is this picture of the two-headed snake real or fake? Well, Bossman, I know there's a lot of people already up on their feet screaming, so fake, it's funny! Only a two-year-old would believe this. But, people, before we start jumping to conclusions, might I remind you about this snake? Do you remember this one? Her name is Medusa, and we found out that she's very much real. She lives at the Venice Beach Freak Show in Venice, California. Cool snake, huh? I think so. But listen, in terms of this new snake, I've got an idea. What do you say before we make up our minds, we do a little investigation? A quick look around the internet shows us there's more two-headed snakes than you might think out there. Like this baby boa that was featured on National Geographic. That's a really cool thing to see in person. I've never seen a two-headed snake. Or how about this copperhead that was on Tomo News? A woman in Northern Virginia spotted a baby copperhead snake slithering in her yard, and upon closer inspection, found it had two heads. Taking a closer look at the picture, it looks like a giant boa or python with two very large heads. But the more I looked at it, the more I realized there was some forced perspective going on here. That's where things look bigger or smaller depending on where they are in the photo. Like this photo of a little girl who seems like she's just as tall as the Eiffel Tower. But hey, just because it was photographed in a way that makes it look bigger, it doesn't mean it's a fake snake. Over on my Facebook page, Rebecca Jane Spar said it's fake. Two-headed snakes and other animals can't survive because they would constantly compete. So what she means is they would just attack each other. On the other hand, Walter Wilton said it's real. It's part of a science program in South America. They're creating two-headed snakes for research to help understand humans with two heads. Carl Joaquin Assis also said real. He wrote, it's real. I saw it featured on Nat Geo. Hmm, got a lot of interesting opinions on this one, especially that one about the science project. That kind of piqued my interest. I did a little further investigation on that, and guess what? That led me to this. Now, the problem is, if you watch this show, you know there's no way I'm gonna show you what's going on in here until you tell me what you got going on up there, okay? So, when I say go, what I want you to do is go ahead and vote up here, leave me an answer down here, or just shout it out if you're in a group or a family. You ready? And go. Hey, while we're waiting for everybody to make up their minds and cast their votes, what do you say we go over a few of last week's Real or Fakes to see how you guys did? On the Ewok-like creatures found in Thailand, 73% voted fake, 18% voted real, and 7% unknown. The official answer was fake. They turned out to be humans in Ewok-like suits for an art project. On the human flying drone, 72% real, 15% unknown, and 12% fake. The official answer was unknown, as we couldn't find anything that proved it one way or another. Now on the giant bee, 76% voted real, 21% fake, and just 3% for unknown. The official answer was real. 
It's called a giant Wallace bee and was found in Indonesia. And finally, on last week's fan art, the winner was this piece from Lego Bart Noah with 80% of the vote. Wow, way to go, Lego. You beat the Mona Lisa by a whopping 73%. Okay, now that we know how well you did last week, and you actually did pretty good, what do you say we find out how you're doing this week? You ready? All right, don't change your vote after you hear this. We want an honest poll up there, okay. Uh, wow, this is interesting. Okay, so this is a real snake. It has a name, its name is Fluffy, and it's a python. The only problem is that Fluffy, you know, the python that's in the picture, only has one head. Fake. I want to give a big shout out to Shashwan Anand, who was the first one to share the original photo with me, where you can clearly see the snake only has one head. Kurt Yumshi Tonalata came in a close second and pointed me towards the Oklahoma newspaper, which revealed that Fluffy, the original python, was once the world's largest python raised in captivity. Now, we don't know who actually did the photoshopping on this photo, but we suspect it might be the same guy who has worked on this snake. The one that sometimes has three heads, sometimes has five heads, and sometimes it even has seven. Oh, what a loser! Next up is this stunning video. It was sent in by M8 Stiker and Big Smoke, who asked, is it true a comet came this close to crashing into downtown Los Angeles? Guys, you know, I lived in Los Angeles for a long time and I saw a lot of weird stuff, especially when it comes to earthquakes, fires, mudslides, all that incredible stuff that happens there. In fact, you know what happens when you have a big fire going on and then you have an earthquake at the same time? You know what they call it? They call it shake and bake. You see, I lived there a long time. I know a lot of stuff about Los Angeles. But I gotta tell you, in all my years that I lived there, I never saw anything like this. A meteor or a comet or whatever that is streaking across the LA skies. But hey, you know, this happens all over the world, so there's no reason it couldn't happen in Los Angeles. Back in 2013, a bus-sized meteor exploded above Russia. Remember that one? This is what took place this morning. Really stunning images that you're seeing there right now. Then there was this one in Canada recorded by a policeman. There have been hundreds of reports of a massive fireball lighting up the sky. And yet another was caught on camera in the state of Utah, United States. And from there, the list goes on and on. All right, so here's my question. If we can see these things streaking across the skies all over the world, why can't we see one streaking across the sky in Los Angeles? Well, if it was up to me, I would call this real right away if it wasn't for the fact that within the confines of Los Angeles is a small town called Hollywood, which we all know mixes fantasy and reality all day long. Okay, so with all that in mind, what I want you to do is take one more look at this bad boy and then make up your mind, okay? Then you go up here and vote, you leave me an answer down here, or you just shout it out while I get out this and we find out what's real and what's just part of somebody's movie <laughs> in Los Angeles. I don't know, maybe it's something from Planet Krypton or something, maybe something really cool like that. Oh, maybe another Superman movie. Could be that. Um, Okay, well, the official answer is, uh, it's pretty straightforward, it's fake. As it turns out, this was actually a publicity stunt for the drink Red Bull. Three men from the Red Bull Air Force jumped from a helicopter 4,000 feet or 1,200 meters above Los Angeles. They had parachutes and wingsuits fitted with LED lights and pyrotechnics that shot out fireworks. Like I said, in Hollywood, reality and fantasy mix together every day, and well, whoever dreamed this one up belongs in Hollywood. Oh, you got the bird in the front. Our next photo is this fantastic portrait. 
It was sent in by the Yoda Show, who wrote, Hey Bill, is this bike for real or just a BFF? Yoda, I'm not so sure about this one because it looks like it was taken out west somewhere, which means it could be like this new exercise fad that you get stronger and healthier if you ride big bicycles. Or this guy could be pedaling himself to the big desert event called Burning Man. You ever seen that thing? Crazy. I posted it to my trusty Facebook to see what the guys over there would think, and well, they came back with a couple of very interesting answers. HKKC said, I think it's an animation, sir, meaning somebody must have cooked it up in a computer. Ace York Amsterdam Mendoza and Gabe Cooper agreed. Gabe wrote, it's fake. Look closely at the shadow. It's too small. But speaking of the shadow, Jacob McGaffey thinks the shadow proves it's real. He wrote, shine a light from above and you, you'll see you get a short shadow. Guys, I think this one boils down to two possible answers. Now, on the one hand, if you think that's a real photo and that thing in there is a real physical thing, then vote real. On the other hand, if you think somebody took a normal sized bike, put that picture in a computer and blew the bike up to make it look really big, then I want you to vote fake. On the other hand, if we have no proof either way, you can always vote unknown. Okay, so go ahead and vote up here. Give me an answer down there or just shout it out. And I, once again, will get out this particular piece of paper, which is gonna tell us who's right and who's wrong. All right, you ready? Well, we might be on our way to Burning Man, which I've never been to. I always wanted to go there, but I don't know what it is. I always end up in the jungle, not the desert. So just, I don't know, maybe it's a destiny thing. But anyway, the destiny of this answer is real. Now, while uh, the picture is real, this bike can't take you anywhere. On closer examination, you may have picked up on the support bar sticking out of the back wheel. It's actually a sculpture, and Pranjal Dutta was the first one to point me to the smoking gun and to OutdoorProject.com. This bicycle statue is in Nevada near Boulder City in the Bootleg Canyon Mountain Bike Trails. Our last video today shows what appears to be popping popcorn made by the radiation from mobile phones. It was sent in by Agent Play 71 and a few other people who all wanted to know, is it possible the microwave radiation from mobile phones can do this? Agent, you know, there's always been a lot of concern over the radio frequency radiation that's emitted by mobile phones and what it does to us. Microwave ovens use radio frequency radiation to heat food, so it shouldn't be a surprise that mobile phones cause heating too. Scientists confirm your mobile phone will raise the temperature of your skin where it touches your body, like your ear. They're saying it sort of causes a heating up of the brain, much like a, an egg, for example, uh, that's being cooked. Okay, so here's the question. We know they emit heat, but if you point that radio frequency with multiple phones all in the same direction, is it gonna create enough heat to pop popcorn? Posting this question to Facebook got me all sorts of answers. Matthew Duncan said, cell phones do create radioactivity, but this seems to be a bit of a stretch. I'm gonna do some more digging. Alex Neal, on the other hand, was excited. He wrote, if this is real, I won't ever use a microwave for popcorn again. And Mickey Lee said, jokingly, that's why terrorists use cell phones to detonate dirty bombs. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. Go ahead and give me your votes up here, your answers down here, or just shout it out. I, on the other hand, will get this out and find out if movie theaters have a new problem on their hands. I mean, can you imagine that little trailer in the front of the movies now? He's going to go, no texting, no phone calls, and no popping popcorn with your mobile phone. So that would be pretty funny. Anyway, uh, well, according to this, I think the movie theaters do have a problem, but it's not popping popcorn because this video is fake. Much thanks in this case goes to Gordon James McKay, who pointed me to the smoking gun and the New York Times, who ran the headline, cell phones can't really pop popcorn. Wow, can you believe it? Another advertising hoax. In this case, to sell more 
Bluetooth headsets. But why did they think people would want to buy more Bluetooth wireless headsets after watching this? That don't make any sense at all. Okay, well that's all the time I have for this video, but if, hey, if your little clicker finger is getting itchy to click to another video, I wouldn't do that because I still haven't shown you my favorite fake of the week, which is a good one this week. So, we're gonna get to that in just a second, but first, ladies and gentlemen, this week's Fan Art. Our first entry today comes from 11-year-old Avery, who came up with a whole armada of fake busters with boats, helicopters, airplanes, and all sorts of stuff. Nice job, Avery. Next is an animation from Alex Animates, and well, it speaks for itself. So, so fake, fake, it's, it's funny. funny! Thanks, Alex. I hope people stop by your channel to check out some more of your witty animations at, where else? Alex Animates. Also today, we have a drawing of me with not one, but two smoking guns, fighting off a whole bunch of monsters. It was sent in by Joaquin Estrada, and well, thanks for the extra gun, Joaquin. Our last submission today comes from Grant Wood, who calls this American Gothic. Grant said the couple are not happy because Bill didn't post a real or fake video on Friday. <laughs> Good one, Grant, thanks. And hey, don't forget, we have a new show every Friday, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notifications bell so you get a shot at being first official comment and win the pin. If you have a picture and you're not quite sure whether it's real or not, send it in to me at billschannel at gmail.com and I'll take a look. Please don't leave links or suggestions in the comment section because really, the only thing that is gonna do is turn me into a mega screamer screaming, you're driving me crazy! See you next time. And now, for my favorite fake of the week, it's called, We Found a Weird Alien Caterpillar Creature in Our Yard. Is it a baby mothman? It was sent in by Alex Napoli and Brianna Gillikin. The video was posted on the Danica DeCosto channel, and all I can say is, guys, seriously? I think where you really found that was in the giveaway bin at the Dollar Tree store, because it is just so, so fake. fake, it's, it's funny! Hey Bills, Dragon, I just want to tell you I really love your videos. I feel like my dog also joins to watch your videos too. <laughs> Bill, if this is you, I'm just going to say that I love your videos. I'm a huge fan of your YouTube channel. I watch it every year.